and coming to departments CAC, Triple E, Civil and Mechanical. These all departments are located in single giant building. It consists of a mini forest, mini garden, and also a sky park in it. The whole girls are stuck in just located beside of this Kalam guest house. It is the most restricted area in our campus. Even they don't have a parents into it. Even if you stand for the 10 seconds in front of this hostel gate, security will start visiting at you. That must take place it is. But don't worry, I'll give you a basic idea with the help of the satellites. Let's start from the main entrance of this campus. Here are the three main entrances. The middle gate is for the vehicles and remain two small gates is for the students. One for the entry and another for the exit. They may allow the cars into the campus but they don't allow the bikes. A separate parking slot is allowed the right side of the entrance of this campus. So you can park them on the right side here is the parking slot for it. And moving into the campus here is the main junction of this campus. From here the main road split into three parts. Departments like Metallurgy, Biotech and 1.8K authors are located on the left side and Professor's Quarters and Director Bangas on the right side. And Kalam International Guest House is located just beside of this main junction. The name itself indicates it is a guest house. I mean it is not any for the VIPs. It is for the common people. Let's say your parents came to visit you. They can rent this guest house and they can stay here. They will charge around 500 to 1000 per day depending on the facilities of the room. And the interior area is very present and decent. The whole girls are stuck in just located beside of this Kalam guest house. It is the most restricted area in our campus. Even they don't have the parents into it. Even if you stand for the 10 seconds in front of this hostel gate, security will start visiting at you. That must take place it is. I tried to show the girls a shirt, but the security didn't allow me. But they given an offer to me that if you have any girlfriends, you can hand over the camera to them and you can show the whole girls a shirt. But I didn't have any girlfriends. But don't worry, I'll give you a basic idea with the help of the satellites. It is the top view of whole girls hostel. Let's start from the Sarojini Hall. It is for the first year girls and the Pradeshni is located just opposite to it. It is also for the first year girls and whole mess is located in the building itself. And coming to this mega hostels, it is for third and fourth year girls. And the one which is beside of this Pradeshni Hall is for the second year girls. And it is a bad news for the first year girls. The closing time for the first year girls is short 8.30. After they don't allow you to enter into it. If you come late, they will take your ID card, they will call to your parents and they will do what they want to do. So, but don't worry, they will increase to 10 p.m. at the end of the first year. And that's it about this girls hostel. From here, the main road divides into two parts regardless of the Y junction because it looks like a Y alphabet. Times Square, Central Library and Admin Block are located in between this Y junction itself. The Times Square is nothing but an empty space where students usually spend free time here. Also like events like uh, Batakama and DJ Nights will be held here itself. And I recommend the patients to spend your free time here because you may get the new friends and you can build contacts with the likely minded people. It is the main place of the NIT Varangal. When people usually think about, a, about this college, they will get the face of this building in their mind. We call it as Admin Block, Director, uh, Dean Academic and other officials works here. And if you want to go inside this building in any purpose, you are allowed only if you are in a formal dress. If you wear uh, like track pants, t-shirts, they don't allow you. Come in formal dress when you are coming into it. I'll also bring your ID cards with you. With your ID cards also, they don't allow you. And coming to the Central Library, Central Library is located just beside of this Admin Block. Here also ID cards are much to, to enter into it. While coming to the library, don't bring any extra luggage. If you bring any bags, you have to hand over them in the security and collect tokens from them. And just I will give a rough idea about this library. It consists of a virtual library where computers are well equipped with high speed internet and having access to the research journals. And also it consists of a reading hall and around 1.8 library books, pamphlets, CDs, RAMs, etc. And here is a small suggestion for the pressure. Generally, on the first day of the college, uh, professors will give a general idea about the syllabus and they will ask you to collect some books from the library. So, I recommend you to collect as soon as possible uh, because for few subjects, there are very limited books. So, if you are delaying collecting them, your friends may collect before you and you have to beg your friends during the exams. And coming to departments, CSC, Triple E, CV, and Mechanical, these all departments are located in single giant building. It consists of a mini forest, mini garden and also a sky park in it. It looks like a mini sanctuary rather than a department. And that's it about this department. You can explore by yourself when you visit this campus. And it is a new academic building. In short, we call it as a map. If you are a pressure, literally you have to spend your first one year in this building. Classes for the first years will be held in this building itself. 
uh, except uh, for two three branches like metallurgy mechanical and biotech students but then the classes will be held in the department itself and you see department is located just opposite to this lab i literally shocked when i entered first time into this department it has a mini garden in it i never personally like this you see labs your labs are well equipped and i generally like to design the circuits i play with arduinos transistors and that's it about this ec department i'm moving on we call this section as full stick each and every type of canteen is available here till last year but from last 6 months they are removing one by one canteen from here early few types of like xerox shop and coca cola tour shops are just left here and coming to this building here emotions and winning abilities combine together to decide your fate this is the innovation building here campus interviews will be held and new startups grow and coming to this cdr building it means center for digital infrastructure and services here all the labs related to computer like software coding DSA, AutoCAD, etc. will be held in this department itself. And these labs have advanced computers with high computing abilities. Each lab can accommodate around 50 to 100 members based on the size of the lab. And metallurgy and biotech departments are located here itself. These buildings are established recently. It was established by our ex Rajya Sabha MP Prakash Jawadekar. Along with some prominent figures, and these both buildings got best infrastructure award recently. And these two buildings have almost same interior. And a mini playground is located in the center of this building. We generally play badminton here. And that's it about this department. Let's directly move into the hostel parts. Uh, let's talking about the 1.8K. 1.8K is the Asia's second largest hostel, but its name has changed to Ramappa recently. Ramappa is a famous temple here, which is recognized by UNESCO recently. Let's try to give a rough idea about this 1.8K hostel. So the whole 1.8K is divided into two parts, a block A and block B. Block A is located on left side and block B on right. On the day of fiscal reporting, they will allot a room in this 1.8K hostel to the fixtures. Uh, let's say you got in a room number uh, A to 48. A indicates the block, two indicates the floor, and 48 is the room number. And this building has around nine floors. You can hang your clocks in this free space, and the view from the ninth floor is very really cool and pleasant. And also, his salon is located near to this 1.8 k. They charge around to 120 to 150 rupees per head. And coming to 1K hostels, it for third and fourth year students. And the mess is located just opposite to this 1K hostel. And the whole mess is divided into two parts: IFC A and IFC B. IFC A is for the first year students, and IFC B is for third and fourth year students. I'm talking about the food here. Uh, okay, we can survive by eating it. And we close the hostel part here and directly move into the stadium. The circumference of the stadium is around 400 meters. And events like inter and night tournaments, cultural events like spin space will be held in the stadium itself. And for the first year's extra academic activity, EWA classes will be held here itself. There will be two classes in a week, one in the morning and another one in the evening. Evening class is okay, but morning class is too difficult. You have to get up early in the morning, 5.30. And the class starts at sharp 6 a.m. And even if you come late by one minute, they don't allow you. And the uniform is necessary for it. Proper track pant, t-shirts, and as post shoes are compulsory for it. So arrange them before you come to the college. And indoor stadium is just located beside of the stadium. We also call it as physical education department. It consists of a mini gym and badminton court. And just opposite to it, there is a volleyball court. And moving on to the auditorium, it is one of the oldest buildings in our campus. The seating capacity of this auditorium is around 500 to 600 members. And every weekend, you can expect a movie here, and important events like convocation will be held here itself. I'm talking about this ALC, Ambedkar Learning Center, is nothing but a new auditorium. Most probably, the physical reporting for the freshers will be held here itself. And one more important thing is, supermarket is located just near to ALC. Things you might need as a student is available here. And that's it in this video. I think I have covered all the necessary things that are required for the freshers. This is Suchetan and second year undergraduate student in Energy Varangal. Thank you for watching my video.